This is KNEB.TV weather from the KNEB Storm Center, your trusted source for weather. We're going to be clear tonight across the area. Temperatures fall down into the 40s overnight and eventually the 30s as we get towards sunrise. We have a couple more nice days in store for us before that cold front arrives on Thursday. Now, we are expecting some rain and snow, and it is going to remain unsettled through next week. We don't expect rain and snow chances to be, uh, or expect the amounts to be very high, but a decent shot of getting some rain and snow in here on Thursday. Yesterday, we hit 67 after a morning low of 25, well above normal on those high temperatures. This is where we're going to end September, uh, pretty much uh, about three quarters of an inch below normal for the month, and uh, we're going to go into November almost six inches below normal for the year, and it's going to go down as a warmer than normal uh, October again here across the region. And as we look at precip, very few and far between on the dates that we actually got some precip. And again, those chances of showers and uh, snow showers. Thursday is our targeted day. Scattered to widespread uh, rain showers, turning over to snow showers possible in the region. And the winds are going to be around with us through most of the week as well, at least uh, breezy at times. And could see some occasionally windy conditions as we get towards the weekend. Well, your trick-or-treat forecast for tonight Not bad at all. It's going to be very nice weather. In fact, uh, clear skies. I think we'll be around 58 or so at 6 o'clock and then down into the 50s. Low 50s by 7 and 50 by 8 o'clock. Clear skies, no issues tonight with trick-or-treating. Of course, last year we had some rain and snow in here on Halloween. And we're going to give it an A going to school in the morning and an A-plus on the way home. It's not going to get much better than 74 this time of year. We've got temperatures in the 60s to near 70 across our region. As you look across the state or United States, not a lot going on in really cold weather, certainly not in the Cornusker State. We've got 60s border to border and in eastern Wyoming as well. Up in the mountains, obviously some cooler temperatures, but 60 to 65 will cover us. Winds are out of the west, gustiest in the high country, 15 to 20 mile an hour winds, gusting over 20, 25 at times. But even for those wind prone areas, that's not bad at all. Clear skies overnight, nothing going on on our future cast. It is going to be very quiet out there. Just a high-level passing cloud. That's about it. Now, tomorrow, if you want to get nitpicky, we're going to see more clouds tomorrow than we saw today in the morning. They'll clear out by lunchtime. And the rest of the day tomorrow looks uh, pleasant and quiet here across the region. And as we go into tomorrow night, again, a few clouds show up for us again and into early Wednesday morning. That frontal system to the west of us will start to push in Wednesday night, and it'll get here across the region on Thursday. Overnight lows, 20s to low 30s. Highs tomorrow in the mid-70s to near 80 degrees in some locations. That's going to put us very near record highs, and there is nothing coming out there in uh, precip over the next couple of days. So tonight, happy Halloween to you. We'll call it clear in 32, a beautiful night out there. Tomorrow, we'll call it sunny for the most part. In 76, very, very warm conditions out there. Normal high this time of year, 58. Another mid-70s on Wednesday. Then look at Thursday. It comes tumbling down into the 40s Thursday and Friday, both of those days. We rebound only into the 50s Saturday and then back into the low 50s Sunday, Monday. I think it's going to be a little breezy at times, especially over the weekend. But those rain and snow showers will turn over to all snow on Thursday. Again, accumulations right now look to be very minor but we will certainly keep an eye on that as we go forward.